so sorry, guys. I will not, so not have so whatever. Just get Entire away. Get incredible. out of here. Go away. And action. Hey, I'm Leela. And I'm Phoebe. And this has been Emerald, Emerald Vision. Vision. And cut. I didn't like that take. Can we go again? Yeah, I don't think I had enough pep. I guess we can. Okay. Action. Hey, Jags, I'm Leela. And I'm Phoebe. And this is Emerald, Emerald Vision. Vision. Phoebe, we're finally back. I know. But I'm going to miss the devious duo, though. Yeah, they've been lulled into a deep hibernation that will last until the end of Mr. Hill's bloodline. But if they were here, they'd want us to tell you that Dream Only by Night opens next week on Halloween at 7 p.m. Other show dates include November 1st and November 2nd, also starting at 7. Tickets are only $8 and can be bought on GoFin or at the door. Prepare to be scared. Next up, we've got a spooky segment of Jag on the Street. Jag on the streets, Halloween edition. Fits to go take candy from hippos' homes. What are you gonna be for Halloween? I'm gonna be a cat. Uh, for Halloween, I'm gonna be the Grinch. For Halloween, my costume's gonna be the Red Power Ranger. My Halloween costume is gonna be Michael Myers. For Halloween, I'm gonna be Noni Madawake. I just got word that the choir and the instrumental concerts this week were a huge success. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Our fellow Jags performed amazingly this week. Great job, you guys. Phoebe, do you know what segment we have next? Hell no highlights. How'd you know? Because it's in the script. Oh. I'm here with two varsity soccer captains. Hadia Reed. Madeline Rosby. And what qualities make a good captain? We think some good qualities are just being compassionate and um, being a leader, a team leader. So anyone can be a team leader, but you know, you just really need to step up and try to care for your team and lead them in a positive way. And how does, a, how does this affect your teammates? Um, I think being a good leader affects our teammates in positive ways and it changes the momentum of a game. And I think it really builds character to the team and like <laughs> forms like a stronger chemistry to the team. What has been the most rewarding part of your soccer journey so far? Um, I think the most rewarding part of my soccer journey has been meeting some of my best friends and being able to lead a team and being part of a team that cares a lot about each other despite the results that we get and always working for each other and building a stronger team every year. What is some advice you would give to a younger soccer player who wants to start playing soccer next year? Um, some advice I would give them is probably just to do it. Um, it's always going to be scary and it's always going to feel really difficult and you're always not going to be the best at the beginning, but you know, it's kind of what you work towards and that's what makes it fun. So just to do it and to not be scared. So thank you for your time and good luck heading into the postseason and the rest of the season too. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> Thanks guys. Phoebe, are you feeling inquisitive? You know what? I am. Me too. Let's cut to Quill's queries. Welcome back to Quill's Queries and Questions. It's been a while, but the pondering never stops. Today's question is, who am I? No one really knows who they are. They barely know themselves yet. In the end of the world, we see each other as no one sees ourselves before. Who am I? Am I Quill? Do you know me? Do I know myself? Who wrote this? Who's Quill? Who am I? These aren't my clothes. Where am I? And with that, this has been Emerald Vision. See you in the jungle. Can I have my drink now, please? Oh, yes, yes. Can you just take this? Yeah, I got stuff. I got yes, food. sorry. Uh, uh, good job, guys. See you next week. Yeah, you're sure. up.